Welcome everyone, I'm Dean Phillips, Worldwide Tech Lead for Automotive at AWS. Hi everyone, I'm Stefano Marzani, Principal Specialist Solutions Architect Autonomous Vehicle at AWS. So, Dean, I really think some of the biggest opportunities for the auto industry will happen when software-defined connected vehicles become ubiquitous. For example, transportation-related companies such as ride-sharing, on-demand fulfillment and insurance will undergo a data-driven transformation enabled by a full edge-to-cloud-based analysis. The, the insights provided will improve their operational efficiency and the quality of their customer experience. Did you see that as revolutionary as I see it? Absolutely, Stefano. This is the game changer we've been waiting for. AWS has been working with customers and partners to build products and services that take data created in a realistic automotive software environment and transfer it to the cloud to drive insights and enable the downstream mobility ecosystem. Vehicle owners can then visualize car data through a mobile application, as well as control basic vehicle functionality. Dean, you make it so simple, but creating environmental parity between the development environment and the production environment isn't easy and can only be achieved with modern software-defined vehicle architecture. And I, we're working hard on that, right? Uh, for sure, we've been working hard. But let's hear from one of our premier consulting partners, Luxoft, so they can explain an end-to-end -end automotive connected vehicle scenario built on top of our AWS Connected Mobility Solution and AWS IoT Greengrass version two. Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Taylor, Director of Regional Solutions based in sunny Seattle. Here at Luxoft, we've been working hard to enable the digital transformation going on inside the automotive industry. As the software capabilities becomes the defining element of future vehicles, we've engaged across the OEM landscape, helping to design and implement a true software fabric that abstracts the vehicle as a whole Creating this infrastructure enables our customers to focus on creating innovative applications that are rapidly defining a fourth space. Unlike the home, work, and communal spaces, this fourth space represents a transition between the other spaces. While traveling between these other spaces, people are able to focus on their needs and wants unlike ever before. Understanding how to meet these needs and wants is going to be what really differentiates the automotive industry going forward. I can't think of a more innovative partner to help the automotive industry move forward and think big than Amazon. Amazon has consistently been investing in the automotive domain, quickly growing their expertise while establishing a clear portfolio of automotive offerings. Pairing Amazon's product offerings with Luxoft's thought leadership and implementation capabilities are enabling us to bring the pace and potential of cloud computing into, into the traditional automotive domain. Together, we are working to extend the software-defined vehicle into the cloud exactly to enable the rapid prototyping and adoption of these fourth space solutions. As a first step, we have co-invested in an end-to-end -end connected vehicle scenario demonstrator. This demonstrator connects embedded applications running on a vehicle with both a mobile application and a neutral server. The mobile application securely extends the vehicle data and control onto a customer's smartphone while the neutral server demonstrates how an OEM can equitably share and monetize data while respecting their customer's privacy. As we look at the history and future of the automotive industry, we see that embedded applications traditionally were written on bare metal or on an OS, on an individual ECU. That's evolved now to where people are writing applications on either classic or adaptive autos or middleware that abstracts the domain controllers. As we're looking at the future of, of the EE architectures, we're seeing that this middleware abstraction domain is being taken one step further where we're creating a software fabric which abstracts the vehicle as a whole. The next step we see after that is then extending the vehicle architecture into the cloud. This settles a number of benefits. The first and biggest is that you get to manage the vehicles as a fleet and be able to implement things around uh, application lifecycle management, uh, remote deployment, and uh, after sales features that really help an OEM take control of the user experience. It also has the benefit of being able to quickly prototype and test and deploy into the cloud to see if your software is really meeting the needs of your customers. 
Here at Luxoft, we work together with Amazon to create this demonstrator solution. We start with this vehicle communication bridge, taking a software-oriented architecture to create this software-defined vehicle where we are creating service layers in the vehicle that provide different services. Like here, we're showing a enclosure service that would enable the locking and unlocking of the doors or a telemetry service, which would share the data where a vehicle was. So these services are commonly used across the vehicle and applications run the vehicle would consume the data and provide features to the driver of the vehicle. We took it to the next step though, and we said, how do we connect this to the cloud? And how do we do this in a software defined way? So we took these services and we created a bridge between the vehicle and the green grass container. We took basically the functionality that was connecting it to a cloud and we abstracted it, in it, abstracted it into green grass. This abstraction made it much easier for us to manage and to enable the cloud portion of the application from the traditional portion of the application. It also enabled us to do some application lifecycle management of the cloud portion using the built-in features of Greengrass. From Greengrass, we then took it up into the neutral server where we were able to share that data with third parties or into a mobile end-to-end -end application that would expose it to a mobile app and allow the customer to remotely unlock or lock their door or see the telemetry data about their vehicle. Here's an example of the door lock service. It went from the vehicle up through green grass, out to the cloud, and then to the mobile end, mobile end to end, where it eventually ended in the mobile app. Here's another example using SNS to share events to the mobile app. So the key here is that we really provide a blueprint for our customers to see exactly how to use Amazon and combine it with the in-vehicle services, especially around a software-defined vehicle. This allowed us to create a lot of value for our customers. This architecture is a great place for them to start when they're trying to do the same thing themselves and, and figure out how to take their software-defined vehicles and extend the cloud as a part of it. This also is an example of an aligned investment from the ecosystem that was able to help meet our customer needs. Finally, this helps create a faster time to market while de-risking the R&D by having this accelerator provided by Amazon and Luxoft. I'd like to thank the team that worked hard on this demonstrator because without them, it wouldn't have been possible. I'd also like to thank you, the listeners, for hearing our presentation and sticking with us. I hope you have a great day.